Well, you have picked a good day to come along to the yard. It was until a few minutes ago snowing. Can you see how frosty it is? It is quite a cold November day. I think it's about one degree at the moment. I was going to go for a hack, um, but I just, I don't really trust the roads. I'm a bit worried about them. The roads around here are quite sort of up and down. Um, even to get to the woodland or off-road you have to go on a road and I just don't think the risk is worth it. You know, metal shoes on a road with ice, I don't think so. So I think we're going to do a schooling session instead but I also have some updates for you and also you ask questions um, on Instagram and on the YouTube short that I put up this week so I'm going to try and answer some of those questions and generally sort of give you an update as to how and Harley and I have been getting on. Um, so yeah, let's go and see him. Hello, my darling. Hello, my darling. Hi, you had a nice day. Trying to get in a post box out there on the yard, aren't they? Hey, I'm good and toasty. Hey, hey. Oh, it's nice and warm there. Nice and warm. Mm. Oh, little peach. I missed you this week. So, I didn't get to see much of Harley this week. Well, I have seen him, but I've been in such a rush with work and things that it's been a bit of a rush, and I hate rushing with the horses. It's just not, it sort of ruins all the magic and the fun and I don't like them to feel the stress of that either. So it's going to be nice to have a little hangout. Right. Then you're going to get your tack and then should we have a brush? Yeah. Little boy. Just before I go and groom, I've just popped to the cabin to get Harley's new bit. So oh, we've currently got him in a Springer Mac Control 40, which is similar to this, but we don't think he likes it very much. So we've switched it to... What's the actual name of this bit? The new school shoe. Oh, hang on, I can't see it. I'll have to tell you in a second. Yeah, I mean, you probably saw actually, if you watched the dressage vlog and maybe some of the other vlogs, I think the one where the saddler came, he just wasn't super comfortable in his mouth. Um, so we've, we put him in this, we're putting him in this new one. We tried it, one of the other horses got one the other day and he seemed much happier. Um, so apparently a lot of young horses like them and a lot of the eventers use them on their young horses too. So I'm hoping that he's gonna like it. I don't know if you can see, it's snowing a little bit anyway. The other piece of piece of uh, parcel that I'm waiting for is from Weatherbeater. It's a new middleweight rug because my middleweight doesn't, oh, it's just a little bit tight on Harley and he's out at night. So I want him to be in one that's really well fitting. So Weatherbeater have kindly sent us one and they've actually given me a discount code for you to use until the end of December which is RE10 so if you want anything from Weatherbeater RE10 is the code. Before I do anything else I'm gonna put my ratty old fingerless gloves on because it's so cold. I think I got these from Primark years ago and I like fingerless ones because I feel like you can still do stuff with your fingers. Right, let me change this bit and then we should get... So similar, but uh, better for him, I think. So, because I've had such a busy week, I didn't get a chance to clean my tack after my last ride and I hate it. Like I can see, I mean, it's not like it's really dirty, but I can see where the grease is built up and it just, I hate it so much. So it'll be nice to have a bit of a more relaxed day. I've also tried to film this vlog a couple of times this week and I just haven't been able to because I've been rushing around so much. Um, it's hard to sort of do it all <laughs> and talk to you at the same time. So this should be a good day. <laughs> Oh, 
well, there you go. Don't say I never give you any drama. Um, so one of the first questions I got was around how I have built a bond with Harley over the last six weeks. And to be honest, I, I don't know that I have done until very recently. And part of the reason is quite heartbreaking, actually. I mentioned this on a post, but I got it in my head that if I hung out with Harley on his day off, that I would like bond too much with him because I love grooming and I love hanging out with them. And if you followed with even back to um, my share horse and with Woody, like grooming and, and hanging out with them is a big part of what I love. And I, I think after Woody, I became so afraid of like falling in love with the horse again because I was really afraid of losing them that it took me four weeks to actually hang out with Harley on his day off. And it was on the fourth week that I decided that I was going to go down and I kind of just let myself do it and I let myself give him kisses and cuddles. And prior to that point, I had like, I would like go in his stable and like give him a cuddle and then like forget myself and give him a cuddle and then kind of catch myself doing it and being like, no, he's just a horse. And, you know, there's no way that's no way to be like, I love my horses so much and I don't want to be distanced from them so since that moment I've been much happier another question that I got was is there anything he does that annoys you and it doesn't annoy me but I do find it quite funny he finds his legs are really ticklish and so when you go to brush his legs which of course I have to do to get the mud off them he like picks them up and doesn't want to put them down and that's just kind of an interesting quirk of his, I guess. And then somebody else asked um, what are his favourite scratchy spots. Right on top of his head. He loves to be scratched up around his ears and right on top of his head. And he's quite a tall horse, as you can see. I'm about 5'6", five 5'7". Five he's about 16'2 at the moment. But he will drop his head down for you to scratch that part of his head. <laughs> So to give you an idea of things we've updated, Harley is in the Shire's Velocity Bridle, but with a new brow band that's extra full. He's obviously got his new bit in today. We've also added a martingale um, because he sometimes, when he gets stressed, pulls his head right up. And whilst we never want to overly restrict, we also don't want to encourage that behaviour. So he has a martingale on. He's obviously got his Equitex. I'm now an Equitex brand ambassador and I have two of these. No, I have three of these. I have the one that I bought. I have this one, which I use when I school. And then I have a competition one as well. I've got my Louisa Cuomo saddle and actually she is coming back for a saddle appointment next week to check how it's fitting on lovely Harley. And then I've got brushing boots, which he always wears. I prefer to have him in the weather beater ones because they come up a bit bigger, but because I was in a rush the other day, I haven't washed or cleaned my weather beater ones, which I always do, but they're covered in mud now and I don't want to wear them on him. I was due to have another set that should have arrived today, but um, they're still in you know, transit, so I have to put my spare pair on. So the plan in terms of riding today, obviously I wanted to hack, but I just don't trust the road. So we're going to go in the school. We're going to have a nice little warm up because it's cold. And then we're just gonna have a little play, um, see how he feels in the new bit. Maybe if the poles are out, we might do a few poles. 
there's actually someone trying to load a horse at the moment and they're having a little bit of trouble and I was hoping to wait until they were loaded to ride but um, I haven't got time the luxury of time to wait so um, I've sort of dragged it out for as long as I can but to be honest probably good practice for him in terms of um cold uh, shows and stuff sorry my brain's all over the place today in terms of um days of shows where people will be doing stuff in the lorry park and what have you my outfit i'm wearing the toggy sculptor orbit base layer and leggings i also have two other like base layers underneath one's just a polo neck from marks and spencers the other is a dhb cycling top and this should be just about, about the right amount of layers for riding, I hope. I guess we'll find out. And these are going to come off in favour of actual gloves. Right, let's go. Just while we are walking around and warming up, I thought I'd answer a few more of your questions, but first I'll just explain what I'm doing. So as you can see, Harley is quite upright and alert at the moment. As I said, there's quite a lot of noise happening on the yard and he can see quite a lot going on from the school as well. So I'm just using the first few minutes to not really ask too much of him, but just have him walking around in the space. Um, depending on how much he reacts to being nearer to the gate and the action, I might warm him up a little bit more on the other side of the school. I'll do lots of like turns and changes of rain and try and find the right balance between giving him enough rain and enough leg and also not asking too much. So that's what I'm doing. One of the questions that I really liked was around how I've built my confidence. So I think the comment was that the confidence looks like it's come really quickly. And how did I do that? Um, and they said, apart from having a coach and obviously a coach is a huge part of it, I think. The other thing for me anyway, is I try really hard not to put myself in situations where my confidence could be lost. So I don't, you know, take him out on a hack on his own when I haven't done that route with a friend. I don't ride him out on a road that I know is busy at the busy time of the day. I try not to ride at moments like this where I think it could be, you know, him getting quite upset. I didn't canter for a couple of weeks because I didn't feel really comfortable doing it and I wanted to get other things sorted first. So I think things like that, especially in the early days when you have so much time, like you don't have to push to do all these things all at once. And I think protecting yourself from situations that could end up being difficult is a good way of doing it. Obviously, you can't, you know, predict everything, but I think you can make a pretty good judgment on what will or won't is most likely to go wrong, you know. And it's really helped me because now... I'm quite happy coming in here when there's something going on and um, I'm going to canter and do poles today as you'll see and now I hack out pretty much everywhere on my own but I think those first few weeks are really important for like giving yourself a grace period. So we've warmed up for about 10 minutes now so I'm just going to move us on to when I started trotting and again it's not necessarily at this point about having a really beautiful outline but it is about starting to ask him to get into a rhythm, to soften down, to um, flex laterally, so to the right and to the left, that's sort of the plan, I want to see how he's feeling as well. Another question I had was just to have an update on the groundwork, so I actually did a Zoom lesson with Miri Hackett, a friend of mine recently who teaches this professionally, and she uploaded it onto her Patreon, so if you are a patron of Miri Hackett, then you can actually watch her teach me uh, with Harley uh, in my first ever groundwork lesson. So that was really helpful. And since then, I've been working to do it a little bit more myself. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge this because even though he's pulling and stretching down, like not in the nicest way, actually, even that is lovely. He wouldn't even do that in the other bit. And this to me feels so much nicer than what I had before. He already looks like a completely different horse. I mean, if anyone has seen that dressage vlog, it is completely different. So that's really lovely to see. And I'm seeing a real difference in the um, the bit as well. So I started to get him going down the poles in trot, and then I replicated something that we've been doing in canter, which was to go down over the poles and then to pick up canter on each rein. Just while I'm warming up over the poles on the other rein, I'll answer another question, which was, what are your plans for Harley in 2024? So I'm really excited. I would really love to do a little bit of British dressage, but it's really going to depend. You know, there's a lot to do between now and then, arena hire and things like that. But I think we're just going to play it by ear. 
Um, yeah, I'd love to do some affiliated dressage. I'd love to get out there. We've got some camps coming up in the summer that I want to go to. I'd love to do some fun riding. Love to do a bit of jumping. But the thing I want to do professionally really is the British dressage. And possibly, you know, if a little local one day event came up and it was small enough. <laughs> I wouldn't say no. I'd love to do some cross-country schooling as well. I think I just want to have a bit of fun. Oh, there's that canter. And if you remember the canter that I had in my very first lesson, how different is this? I mean, I know, as I always say, there's so much more work to be done on my riding, but how much better is this already? I'm so proud of us both. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling really good about it. We're going to change the rein and do that on the other rein while I answer a rather apt question, which was, what made you choose Harley? Look at him! What made you choose Harley over the other horses? Um, there were some logistical things, of course. There were some practical things. You know, he looked really sound and he was the right size and the right build and all the rest of it, the right age, blah, blah, blah. But um, I think for me, <clears throat> he just felt really safe. I felt very safe on him all the time. And I felt like he could teach me a lot. He felt very, he seemed to have a real self-assurance and a confidence and a really lovely nature, you know, wanting to please, very kind. Yeah, just a really lovely horse. And we actually had friends in common with the seller, the, you know, the actual owner, and that was really nice. And we just, it all sounded like a really lovely kind of start to his life. Um, and that was really lovely. And actually I spoke to the seller, I speak to her quite frequently. I sent her sort of updates and things. And she actually showed me some videos of him when he was four, when she first bought him. And that was really lovely. So yeah. Okay, back to this session. This is already looking so, so much better. And actually, I was really pleased with this. So what I was doing was trotting over the poles, picking up canter, cantering over the poles, coming back round in trot, and then going to walk. And the reason I was doing that was because he can get a little bit excited going over the poles. And I wanted him to know that, like, just because we've cantered, it doesn't mean that you can, like, lose your head. So, yeah, once he'd done the trot after the canter, we had a break. And then I just did a little bit of stretchy trot. And I think it's the most stretchy of all the trots that I've been able to get from him so far. And I know I look a little bit clumsy here. I'm finding the balance between a long enough rein, squeezing down the rein, the right sort of balance in my body, etc. Not not leaning too far back, but also not leaning too far forward. But this to me was a really big moment because when I actually tried him, I tried to do a stretchy trot and the guy selling him was like, oh, he's not really there yet. He doesn't really offer that. And if you remember how kind of upright he was when he first arrived, this is such a huge difference. And I was just, I just walked away from this feeling incredibly proud of him for dealing with all of everything that was going on and also offering all this wonderful work proud of me and my riding, proud of my confidence and really, really, really pleased with how he's feeling in his tack, in his bridle, in his bit, in the Equitex and just feeling like we're, we're in a really, really good place ahead of next year. We walked around on a super long rain for a few minutes. Uh, I loosened off my girth and then that was it. Schooling done. I am so happy with that. Oh, hello, you're right there. Every single day, he brings me joy. Every day. Oh, my collar. Really gone. Right, in classic style, I am now running slightly late, so I'm gonna do a very quick job of cleaning my tack, um, and then I'm gonna get going. Harley Bear. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. Sorry that they're a bit short, and sorry that they're not very often, but I will try and do more YouTube vlogs in the future. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.